Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft with me and my son. <sighs> and we left off messing with this uh, quitasium. Uh, of wop wopness. To... Yeah, and what we did was is we put a couple of bookshelves that I created down there and we put some fragments up top and we came up with this thing, the Theory Crucible of Souls, which we don't know what to do with. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, we made it. We got lucky and came up with something finally. First, we got like a fragment, and Which then is we that researched thing the fragment, and then got really lucky and got a theory. Yeah, but I just don't know what to do with that. But I did a little bit more mining. I've got some more arcane singularities to go with our bore. Got some focuses for whenever we do some more mining with that. And guess what? I made a third buddy. Soon you're hustling me like a party overload. <laughs> and you're not even going to be able to move. And this is our new system that I designed. I was uh, writing down a bunch of different things to try and make more pure V or better V without all the taint. This is the system that I came up with myself to try and make a better... Uh, He'd even ask for my help. <laughs> so what I've done here is I've got the... Um, uh, crucible. Thank you. The crucible with two bellows on the side. The bellows are what help... Uh, produce the things a lot faster and it goes into a conduit into a filter to an on off switch um, and then from there it goes into one two three four five six seven eight containers of uh, storage tanks and then from here it branches off to the left into another filter to my furnace with two more bellows because the more bellows you have on the furnace the more better it produces your materials and it branches off to another filter over here to my infuser and then back here it goes to another filter system which goes to my V condenser and I have two condensers one condenser and two more because the condensers do what exactly they um, whenever you put a crystal inside of there it sucks the pure V like any V that's inside the crystal out and basically like and then puts it into the conduit pipes and it creates pure V. Like, there is no such thing as taint in these things. Except for the tainted crystals that it creates. Because it's whenever it sucks out all the V, mm -hmm. it obviously becomes corrupt. Because it has no more aura inside of it. Gotcha. So it turns in, so it gets corrupted. Gotcha. And some of you are probably asking, what's with all these pipes and stuff? And it, the only reason I have it is because I'm it using... Cool. Well, yeah, it kind of looks cool, but... I have it to where um, it's being filtered again, even though it's being pulled out of here, it's being refiltered through all this, and it's going through the pipes, going into my storage tanks here, and then it goes back up to up there. The bottom ones are the most purest, you can see. The and it gets more tainted and tainted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it'll get refiltered as I start to use it. I've got 28 blocks of gold. Should I drop them all in there? Do it. It's going to overfill, though. Is it really? It shouldn't overfill. I'd say that just to scare you. Oh crap, it really is. <laughs> uh, oh, oh no. <laughs> hey, hey you. Come over here and st Oh crap. It really overfilled. I said you said it wouldn't overfill. Did you see all the taint? Oh my gosh! Look at all that. How much is left in there? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I th look at my tanks. They're going to overflow. <laughs> oh my gosh. No. <laughs> okay. I think I made too good of a system here. Oh my gosh. No. 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 <laughs> okay. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Golems, help me. Come to my aid, golems. Hey. What, what's your uh, tanks at? Uh, They're almost full. I've almost got. Hey. He's like, hi. Help me. <laughs> Help me! Hey, come! Ah! Gosh, oh. that was way too much, dude. <laughs> oh, look at they're still in there. I can't take it out, can I? Can nope. I break this? Yeah. Oh gosh, they're full. Ah! Break! Something! Break this! Ah. Oh my <laughs> gosh! <laughs> oh man, I just released like 30 years of freaking pollution into my world. Now, you're, now your uh, trees gonna start turning purple. Oh my, you know, speaking of that, I haven't had any of that, because I'm wondering if, like you said earlier, like I was too high. Speaking of this, um, that's kind of what I wanted to do this episode, is make something special. Okay. Go get a V-crystal, make two compasses, and get, alright, first, get one V-crystal, uh, one V crystal, 
out of your chest, one tainted crystal, get two iron bars, make a, make two compasses. Two and, iron bars? Yeah. Well, no, two gold. Two gold bars? Yeah, and then, but get um, eight pieces, eight iron bars. Okay. I've got all that. Make, uh, go over to your box, get some redstone. Okay. Go to your thing, make two compasses. One, two compasses. Go over to your infuser. Okay. Okay. Now put in one V crystal. Okay. Compass. And one iron bar. Iron. I mean, no, gold. I mean, sorry. Oh, a V detector. Oh, sweet. Wait, don't, don't. Oh. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I got excited. What is that little bar down there now? Okay, what do I do now? Now, right click the infuser, put in a compass. A tainted crystal and a gold bar, and then infuse it. You're you're slow. You need to hurry. Oh. Oh. <laughs> a taint detector. Okay. Is it out of your this? Oh my now, gosh. Go back to your chest. Get one vaporous crystal. One aqueous crystal. One earth crystal and one fiery crystal. No V. Just awkward. I've got one left. <laughs> okay. Now go over to your chest. Uh, infuser. Put in... Oops. Detected zero taints. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, now okay, what? Put in your V detector. Put in your taint detector. Now put in all the crystals. Just around here? Should I have kept these though? Should I have used those? Whoa. A thomometer. Thermometer. It's a thong detector. Does this detect if who's wearing a thong? Now look at the bars down there. Oh my gosh, what does that mean? It's wow, actually, you have a high uh, aura level and not that much taint. But your taint level is going up. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? Holy crap, it's already halfway, but you have a like really high aura level. So is this like. Whoa. This is detected 2V, 50% and zero taint. The object is at 50% capacity. 96% V and 22% taint. I can see you sitting here for like an oh, hour. Wow. Taking all your things. This is awesome. <laughs> what about this? It plays music. Dun, 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 dun. It's playing like little music notes. All right. Wow, so this is so this thing doesn't have any durability, huh? I could mm -hmm. just nope. So my taint going up is because of all my filters. Uh, yeah. Filtering. <laughs> so it's, that's probably gonna go up fast. <laughs> and then my uh. And whenever that taint gets high, it's it's gonna cause some weird. Sorry. So am I okay for right now? Yeah. Okay. Oh dang! Look at it. it; just went down. Whoa. Go back over there. <laughs> oh, it's in different areas. Oh, so right, right here, my taint is really bad. No, or it's my really taint's low. really low. It's but... your aura level. Oh, aura's good over here. You don't do it right. All right. So anyway, another thing, my red sword. Uh, all you had to do was make a, a wooden sword, by the way, and hit the R button, and it allows you to level up your sword, just like how I did there. And then you can add damage and critical sharpness, all these different things to this sword. So you actually have to level this sword up for it to be worth a dang. Um, let's see, what else did we do? That's really cool, though. So I can, like, click on, on all my objects. Sweet. Click on your golem, see if he has any. Come here, do you have any taint? <laughs> There's Here, let me check your taint. <laughs> He's got no taint. <laughs> Sorry, dude. He's looking at me like, hey, don't touch me with that. I'm not that kind of guy. <laughs> All right, so. Okay, so. So we've got our new. So that's kind of cool. You can. It's like an all-in-one thermometer 
detector thing for Bob, right? Yep. Very nice. Um, I'm trying to think here. All right, I'm gonna try and top uh, off the rest of my tank up there. Enchanted fabric. Wow, that fills really quick, even with lapis lazuli blocks. Okay. Um. Uh oh. What? What'd you do? It filled up perfectly. You scared me. <laughs> Um, go to your, get one redstone and one, uh, golden bar of goldiness. I need to go mining again. I'm almost out of redstone. And... Okay. Oh, we also need a spider eye, don't we? All right. What do I do with this? Redstone. Oh, sorry. The, the redstone um, and the bar. Go to your infuser and put those in the, in the infuser. Okay. Oh. Cane seal. Now put that back in there. <laughs> Go get a fiery uh, crystal. I want to see if this works. This is just me trying something. But, um, hmm. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing at all. I don't know how to. Um,. How else do we make some of these cooler... Put arches? that seal on the ground. Put the seal on the ground? Yeah. No. Like... <laughs> put it on the ground. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know you can place it. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Now, go over to your infuser. Um, Take... A nitor, a golden nugget, and a fiery crystal. A nitor, fiery crystal, and a golden nugget. Uh huh. Go get a. Let's go get a golden bar. A golden bar. Yeah. One golden bar. Okay. Now put that on your crafting table. No, no, just in your regular two by two. Golden nuggets. Okay. Now what? Now, go over to your infuser. Okay. Put one golden nugget. Put one fiery crystal in the night door. Runic essence fire. Okay. See if you can place it on the ground. Is this gonna catch my house on fire? Just do it. No. Okay. Wait. Is it is fire? Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> see, uh, right click it on the rune on the seal. Seriously? Just do it. Oh gosh. Okay, now what that does is whenever an enemy comes here, it goes and patches them on fire. I don't want that. It's going to burn my house. Then break it. I must advise you that it's going to explode now. Dang, you already broke it. Okay. Get out of my bag. No, put it back in your bag, you dummy. <laughs> okay, so now this, that's the perfect thing you can do. You can like set up like a little base camp, cover yeah. your house in runes and seals, and just go... They just torch anything that comes near. Now you can also do this with um, any other runes. Uh huh. Um, there's also combinations you can do. Whoa, that looks really confusing. Um. Okay, so some common examples for the like uh, some combinations. If you do dark, dark, and air, this combination of runes draws items to the seal and places them in a nearby container. So if you mix those runes together. Um, and place a seal. Any items like you have, like say if you mine a dirt block, it'll suck that dirt block in. Yeah. And it'll put it in a chest. Gotcha. So it's kind of like the boar, but. We need to figure out what to do with this thing, this theory, crucible of souls, because we. I, can... I don't even know what that. Well, it has to do with the crucible, because it's the crucible. Yeah, but it's it makes a crucible of souls, which is another one of these things right here, but it's a better one, isn't it? Yeah, obviously. So would I replace this one? Or would I put it next to it? No, because from my understanding, the Crucible of Souls, whenever an, a living thing comes near it, it kills it. So what living, it would kill your golems. No. Yes. So, now let me finish with the combinations. Gosh. I don't want but, it to kill my golems. No, so don't place it in your house. <laughs> Go down, like, place I it can't, in the wood. I don't know how to place it anyway there's like I don't know what to do with it I bet you anything we have to research it or something I don't I don't want to risk researching it 
Yeah. What are you doing? Putting more paper in there. Make three books. Make it. Make, no, make six books so you can make two more uh, bookcases. Okay. We'll put that some. paper. Put that paper back in your <clears throat> quintanium quintonsium. Right, so Leviosa. Me... Oh jeez, did you just make a Harry Potter reference? Yes. <laughs> I love Harry Potter. Okay, magic and air. This How many bookshelves? I can only make two. Yeah, that's all you needed. Dude. <laughs> He's like, hey, I <laughs> you in the corner. He's, I'm stuck. Stuck. Okay, now Is we're going to try and like, research this thing. Soap. Put that in the bottom, too. Okay, put that in the top. See how much... What percent? How much? Fifteen. Do you want to risk it? Uh, not really. You, you got it. Make it. I didn't lose it. Oh, take it out, take it out, take it out. It's because you have to have multiple cases. It has like five stages to it. See? Oh, so I have to do. I have to keep doing it? Yeah. Oh, so that's good then, right? Yeah, I thought you were going to lose it. You were just like, uh, I don't know. Well, what can I put in there? You need bookcases for the best. So what's, like, what's next that I can put in there? I don't know. Like lapis blocks? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Here, let me try two lapis blocks and see what happens. That's three. We'll put one there and one there. So a thirteen percent. It's only two percent lower. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh when like it explodes in the interface and like causes it, it your breaks. Calcium. Hey, it took away that one thing it had. It doesn't have that. Because you had too low of a percentage. Because lapis sucks. Oh, well, why did you make me use it? <laughs> All right, we'll have to go get. We'll have to wait for my farm and stuff to produce more. You don't need paper. Oh yeah, you should do. Just cut down some of the like uh, bookcases you have behind, for your enchanting table. You want me to chop down my bookcases? Just do it. Jeez. Now my enchanting table sucks. Sucked anyway. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. Now you've got to go get some more wooden planks. Don't you love me? Alright. So we're going to create oh. some more bookshelves. This is cool. Uh, this is kind of off topic, topic, but this is one of the combinations. If you combine magic and air, this combination of runes creates a portal that allows you to travel to another seal set with the same combination of runes. You can only travel to seals with the same combination of runes, so adding a third rune to the seal will allow you to create the seven distinct networks. The portals do not allow travel between dimensions. A, portal, a portal's network set up in a different dimension are all separate from each other. Hey, look. That's right in something. That's kind of neat. Just go into the interface because you're scaring me. It didn't do anything. That's two times. It's not done yet. No, it's done it twice. And it's not putting anything up there anymore. See? Which means this is probably hard to do. Which means you pr you, pr you probably get it when you're done researching, researching it, but you have to get through all five stages in order to even get it. So do we need something better than books then? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that because it's not doing anything. At least to that anyway. Um, in earth and water combinations, Daddy, this combination of seals harvests and, and all fully grown plants in its area. So, oh. so you could put that for your uh, reeds. Really? So you could have that harvesting it and have the air dark dark one to draw them all in and put them into a chest. Oh, yeah. So it would be an automated harvester. That's kind of cool. I want this mod now! <laughs> Um, and magic and magic, this combination of runes infuses the local aura with a charge of energy. This charge of energy does not boost or harm the aura in any way, but certain thomic devices can be used to charge to increase their speed. I don't understand that. And you can make a crystal ball. Um, sometimes when a combination of runes does not is not obvious, to get around the problem, you, just mu you must craft a crystal ball. 
using this using this on a seal review will reveal what the current combination of runes allows the seal to do the crystal ball also stores a record of all the seals you have discovered so far which you can pursue at your own leisure it also shows you which runic essence produce produce Essences produce invalid combinations without having to discover that fact first. Wow, that was kind of hard to read. And that was for the crystal ball? Yeah. And you need one of each room. Well. Well, I don't know exactly. Because we still need to get spider's eye. And that's one of the things that we were trying to do earlier, but for some reason... Our... The mobs, the vanilla mobs aren't spawning. Yeah, and I'm waiting for it to become nighttime, and I'm gonna try and see why the if the mobs are gonna spawn anymore. Cause I reset all the settings. Yeah. Um, cause we were having no creepers, no zombies, no skeletons, nothing was spawning, and I don't understand why no mobs are spawning. So I reset all the settings in hopes that we can start getting vanilla mobs again. And I just don't know if it's because I have so many dungeons near me and it's taken up all the monsters nearby, or. Yeah. Or what the deal is, but I'm gonna try something here. Here's a good combination. If you do water, earth, and earth, it grows crops in a large radius. Like what kind of crops? Anything? Yeah, it grows. Yeah. And this guy, this guy made all these uh, things, so. If you do fire, and I don't know what the A's are, it creates a heat ray, yeah. and hurts and pushes mobs. Really? Yeah. And that could be a good mob, uh, mobs uh, like thing too. You could have them like getting hurt by fire or whatever, and have like the things that they drop being sucked in by the other thing. Yeah. I can, I can think of so many things to do with this. Gosh, what's with all the dolphins over here? Dolphins? It's dolphins. Flipper! Wow, what? look at the my aura level. That's just in this area, though. There's certain areas of the world where you'll see, like, these things flying around the air, like, they sparkle. Whoa. Why is he here now? Because you remember, you reset it to default, remember? Hey, it's this freaking horny guy again. Holy crap! Oh my gosh, this sword sucks! Look at the aura level here. Oh my god, dude, you caught things on fire. Stop. Now, what if that was over here in your jungle? <laughs> yeah, that would have been awesome. You're just like, come here, buddy. Oh, crap, my jungle. All right, this is what I'm going to try here. Are you ready for this? Don't mind him, don't mind him. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to put that there. Wrong spot. We're going to put that there. That there. You need your tinkering tools. Oh, you are one lucky. I already forgot it when you were reading. Is it going down? Yeah. Sweet. I can't see anything. You made it. It's in the ground. <laughs> Don't break that. It's supposed to be an endless <laughs> monster machine. You'll be its, uh... This is kind of cool. I could just stay here and just let it mine straight down, move it over, mine straight down, move it over, and just make mine shafts everywhere. And just stand on it until my inventory is full. This is awesome! I'm glad I thought of this. You thought of it? This is awesome right here. You didn't think of it. I'm sorry to burst your bubble. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> that almost sucked. <laughs> oh, that's good. So does it continue to use the energy in it if if, if it's um even though it's not pumping anything, does it continue to burn this? Yeah. <sighs> See it doesn't look like I picked up anything here. Nothing good anyway. Whoa. What the heck is this? I'm looking at the research thing. Yeah. And it shows this thing. Oh. Wrapped around, uh, it shows a book. Whoa, what just happened? To what? To your boar. I'm moving it. 
Oh, I thought it dropped. Oh, no. See, now what I can do is I can bore right here. If I'm, if I'm doing this right. I can bore right there. And then I can chip away around it like this. Break the block underneath it, too. <clears throat> Break that. And then we'll put our little lever right there. Break that block, too. Which one? To the right. Well, I'm keeping that there as like a platform to stand on. You don't need to stand on it. See, look, there's no monsters anywhere. There's no creepers. Look at all the fire guys everywhere. Oh my gosh, what's with all the... F Hold on. Oh, it's because I'm on hard. Man, those fire guys are going to catch my forest on fire. Stop spawning global mods. I think They're it's not going to just disappear like that. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. So you're screwed. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Wait, I know how to stop them. Go to peaceful. Haha. -ha. And then we'll go to normal. But see, I'm not getting any skeletons or creepers or zombies. I don't know if any of you guys understand what what's up with that. Or why there's a greater werewolf. Why is that? Oh, it's because I gotta put my stuff in here. So maybe somebody can No! Stop! Stop! <laughs> There we go. Try this again. But anyway, yeah, I'm getting no creepers, no zombies, no skeletons. It's like the vanilla mob system is completely deactivated somehow. And okay, I, um... And I don't understand why. Oh! So even if I go to vanilla mobs... See, everything's turned on. Let me turn on the zombie frequency, spiders, uh, skeletons, um, and creepers. I'll turn those guys up. I know how, I don't know how, but, um, I do know how to, I understand research now. Do you? Oh, gosh. I almost fell off. I would have left. It's, like, it's not like you would have lost anything. <laughs> one experience. <laughs> or one level. <laughs> Alright, well, at any rate, guys, i got to wrap up this video. Hopefully we'll try and figure out some more of that I just noticed stable. something. Your, your boar is crapping into your butt. Uh, yeah, it is. I haven't gotten anything. All I've gotten is a bunch of cobblestone and cinnabuns. It doesn't mine the cinnabar. You have to go down and mine it yourself. Really? Yeah, it mines it. Because I oh. have one on me. So, <laughs> Alright, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and hopefully we can figure out more about the research. And we'll see you guys next time. The <laughs>